Shabbat Shalom. Shana Tova. On behalf of the Board of Directors, Gmar Chatimah Tova. May we be inscribed for a good year for us, for Israel, and for all the world. One of my favorite lines is a joke that I borrow from the comedian Stephen Wright, with attribution, of course. I intend to live forever, he says. So far, so good. So far, so good indeed. That's why the Shehechianu is my favorite blessing. We're here, we made it, we're thankful. I guess Hamotzi Lecha Min Haaretz is my second favorite, but never mind. <laughs> we, we laugh at Stephen Wright's joke because we know his plan isn't going to work. And this is the time of year when that really hits home. Today we remember our friends and our loved ones who are no longer here. We reflect on our own lives and our own legacies that we will leave behind. That legacy can include our families, our values, the things we have done in hopes of leaving this world a little better than we found it, and the things that we care about perpetuating for years and generations to come. Today, we ask you to make Congregation Beth Torah a part of that legacy. It is a contribution that we hope not to collect for a very, very long time. But it can help sustain the synagogue that is so important to us now for those who come after us. Many institutions, charities, and other worthwhile organizations have done this for a long time. We never have, we never asked, and I really can't tell you why. A couple of things have prompted us to do this now. Several years ago, our beloved Ethel Gruen, the widow of our beloved Ron Gruen, passed away at age 100. In her will, she left Beth Torah a generous gift. Among other things, it has provided the new Lev Shalem prayer books for the congregation. Then last fall, we were touched and surprised to receive another bequest. A former member who moved away 15 or 20 years ago to be closer to her children remembered Beth Torah in her will as well. We've been in touch with the family, of course, but I wish we would have had the chance to tell her how grateful we are and how she'll always be remembered here. So as part of our 50th anniversary, we are following those examples to establish the Beth Torah Legacy Campaign to help ensure our next 50 years and beyond. This is how it will work. If you would like to include Beth Torah in your legacy, we ask you to sign a non-binding pledge. The amount is up to you and none of our business, and the synagogue will not have access to any confidential documents. The details will be up to you. You can leave a simple bequest and trust the synagogue to put it to the best use to sustain our community. You can designate the money to a specific fund or purpose. You can take advantage of the tax benefits of a donor-advised charitable fund established by the Dallas Jewish Community Foundation or other institutions. There are more possibilities which we would be happy to discuss with you and help you determine your best option. After the holiday, at our Break the Fast tonight and beyond, we will have paperwork that includes that non-binding pledge we hope you will sign. We will compile and publicize a list to thank and honor everyone joining the Legacy Campaign. Each year, we will hold a special Legacy Shabbat to pay tribute to everyone who is helping to ensure our future. And now, back to the present. If you've already contributed to the Shield of David campaign, thank you so much. As I said on Rosh Hashanah, the Shield of David has been a crucial part of our annual budget for the past 20 years. If you haven't yet contributed, we still need you at whatever level you're comfortable with, so please consider adding your name to the donor board outside the Oneg room. But contributions aren't just about dollars and cents. So many people devote their time and talents to Beth Torah all year, but especially at the high holidays. I've been pretty involved here for a few years now, but I'm always amazed anew at how many people step up to make this month run smoothly and ensure a moving, meaningful experience for all of us. Since there's no Oscar night orchestra to play me off, I want to recognize and thank a long list of wonderful people. 
If I've somehow left you out, I apologize, but here goes. It starts with our dedicated professional staff who keep this place humming all year. Katie Babin, Renee Nichols, Tom Moon, Brandy Hunter, Joni Block, Catherine Etheridge, and of course, Rabbi Rubenstein. Cliff Friedman and Jeff Markowitz chaired the holiday committee through many months of detailed planning. Carly Ross, Joe Zephyrin, and Mindy Sue Rubenstein oversaw the transition of the sanctuary to Holiday White. Rusty Dworkin played a big role in the High Holiday Resource Guide. Mark, Mark Mashpitz, Larry Strauss, David Duchin, and Gail Hill coordinated the 161 service honors. And Mark, Neil Bernstein, Marty Barenblatt, and Eileen Kessner make sure everybody gets to the BEMA on time. Howard Miles coordinated the ushers, and Donna Lebo and Alyssa Wolf arranged all the greeters. Earl Portnoy is our security chief. Paul Dyack and Reve Campo keep the audio and video going. Jerry Zephyrin coordinated Kever Avot. Vicki Silvis, Rhonda Duchin, and Sisterhood are catering the Break the Fast. Matt Morris, Bill Miller, and the Men's Club are creating the new sukkah you'll see very soon. Thank you to our gabbis. Cliff Friedman, Gary Kahalnik, Chuck Smith, and Phil Stamen, and to our talented roster of service leaders, Torah readers, and Hoff Torah readers. Alex Rubenstein, Earl Bills, Brittany Landau, Phil Stamen, Chuck Smith, Jerry Zephyrin, John Wills, Allison Checkaway, John Gannett, Jessica Lycan Gould, Jessica Winter, Francine Simpson, Jeff Markowitz, Ira Nevelo, Megan Feller, Elizabeth Stein, Scott Checkaway, Rabbi Sidney, Ron Blumka, Joe Lycan, Calliope Renard Spangler, Mallory Joy Rubenstein, Peyton Steinberg, and Sam Drazen, and Rabbi Fivel. Gosh. Brandy Hunter put together our terrific high holiday youth programs, assisted by Joni Block, Erica Gould, Joe Reingold, Linda Markowitz, Bob Austin, Bella Singleton, Mallory Joy Rubenstein, Rachel Leventon, Mindy Sue Rubenstein, and Abigail Mindel. And last but not at last but loudest are shofar virtuosos, David Engelberg and Alan Koningsberg. It takes a village, the cliche goes, but we've got a heck of a village. Thank you all. Thank you for listening, and for the third and last Yom Kippur, thank you for the privilege of being the president of this wonderful congregation. Again, Gamar Khatimatova, may we all be inscribed for a good year. May we spend a lot of it together here at Beth Torah. And may we all keep laughing at that Stephen Wright joke for a long, long time. So far, so good. <laughs>